Welcome back to the studio. So if any of you have been following my videos in the order that I'm posting them, you will see that I'm still getting ready for my daughter's wedding. It's coming up soon. Don't tell anyone this is the back of her dress. So I am working today on making some resin trays. We have cookies and cupcakes. So they all need a place that's beautiful to be displayed. So I'm going to work on some of those today. Now you may have the same intro for a couple of videos because I'm doing a several different kinds of trays. So some will be resin, some will be crafts that I have used pieces from hobby stores or dollar stores, and they're all gonna come out beautiful, hopefully, and we'll only use the ones that are gonna be beautiful. So stay tuned and I hope you'll learn ways to make some beautiful things to display things all right, at so your own So today parties. I'm gonna work Thanks. on a three-tiered cake stand. Now the links will be below. And I wanted to show you that when you buy this on Amazon, this one is three circles. And it comes with a kit so that you can just put them together. And the other one that I'm going to work on, so I'm going to work on this today. This is a three-tiered cake stand that is square. And I'll put the link below. This stand comes with a gold fastener that divides the trays so that they're stacked. And let me make sure I get all the pieces out of there. I'll have to get a little piece of tape to make sure everything's out of there before we start. All right, stay tuned. All right, so for my blue trays, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mixture of my metallic paint and I'll show you in the little clip of how I mix that, but I'm going to put my metallic paints down first and let those settle a little bit and then I'm going to put my blue on top of it. So let's go ahead and drizzle this in. I'm going to drizzle it and mix it around. from a previous pink project as you can see so we're going to go ahead and get our blue and put that in there and I'm going to put two nice scoops now I know some of you has have said that uh, you really wish that I would measure this but I have to tell you that when I work with resin I usually um, don't mix anything well, I mix the resin exactly and measure that. But when I put in the, my mica powders, I put it in and see what color it is and then change it around based on my preference. So we're going to mix this turquoise in. And if we don't like it very well, we're going to mix some more in. So be careful with your mica powders. When they are in the air, they can get into your lungs. That could be dangerous. And let me move it away from my project while I mix so that I don't get any powder down in with the gold. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so I've mixed my turquoise and I actually, I, off camera, I added a little bit of green to it. It was a little, just a little too blue. So we've got a little bit of blue and green mixed and we're going to pour lightly. Now this is not set this gold that's here so we're gonna just pour a little bit at a time it will actually spread some of that gold out and we'll fill each of these all the way to the top
Okay. I absolutely love how the gold is peeking through. And I'm going to just break up some of this pattern here. And then we'll take care of some bubbles. Okay, so you can use your torch or you can use a heat gun, but you do want to take care of your bubbles and always you move your heat gun or your torch around so you're not burning your tray. Once you melt your tray, then it's hard to reuse it. So can you see the bubbles breaking up? All right, so I'm gonna break up some bubbles. We're gonna let this sit overnight. I was kind of thinking about putting another layer in there maybe of uh, maybe a brown. We'll see, I'll just make it up as I go along. There's a tiny bit of room in each of the trays, so that's why I was thinking about doing that. So let me think about it, and we'll unearth these in the morning. Copper mica powder, and I'm going to pour it around the outside edges. rid of some bubbles again and then we're gonna let this sit till morning I think they're full All right, it's been 24 hours let's see how this um, works out let's go ahead and take these out of the molds if you hear any clicking and clacking on the floor my daughter's dog <laughs> is running around in my art studio all right so remember we have copper and gold as well as a turquoise and then a little bit of green so Oh, I'm sorry. Looking for the dog. Okay, here we go. All right, I am not sure I like this side. But I love this side. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. Now, with this particular resin, I like to leave it flat for another 24 hours just to make sure it uh, cures flat don't want it to start waving on me let's get this one out just to see one more I love this side I think this is gonna be my favorite too it's always important on how the light shines through it too all right let's see that one that one not so much either Although some people may love that. The gold is pretty. But I do love this side much better. Wonderful. Okay, so you've seen both of those. Let's go ahead and check out now, since this is in camera range, let's see these. So as you can see, some people have sent me some cremains of some loved ones. So I'm making some keychains for them. So let's see how those turned out. That's beautiful. Oh, that's going to be so nice. Nice little keychain with their loved one, and I'm going to actually write their name on this side. So let's see one that kind of looks computery. Oh, I love that one too. I love this pearl that's in the pink. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this, and... If you work with resin, you already know how to do most of these things, but if you're new to it, you see how easy it is just to do some cake stands. I'm going to put these all together so you can see it for the last picture once they cure again one more day. Thanks for enjoying this video. Yeah, oh, I think the blue one turned out really nicely also what do you think so let me know in your comments below
So look for the video on this one.